Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go over the different types of traditional Irish tunes. So one of the big ingredients of Irish music that we've all heard are those little fast notes that are called ornaments. <laughs> And another element is rhythmized bowing. Now I'm going to be going over a lot of the different rhythmized bowing patterns in our tune videos and the ornament video is going to be a whole separate thing. So in this lesson I'm going to just teach about the different, the main types of Irish tunes. So we'll start off with the first one which is the air. So think of the Londonderry air also known as Danny Boy Airs are slow, sad melodies. They don't have any set Irish dance steps with them. Then we move on to the polka. So polkas are in 2-4 time. And there's a common bowing pattern that you'll hear and see in a polka. And remember, there's no set bowing patterns in traditional Irish music. You'll see all sorts of different things, but a lot of times in polkas, you have this lilting uh, bow and you'll see the two notes sl slurred together. Polkas are also very common in Kerry and Cork, so in Southern Ireland. The next type of tune is the jig. We've all heard of the jig. And usually when people are talking about a jig, they're talking about a double jig, which is the most popular type of jig. So you have the double jig, and that is in 6-8 time. So 6 eighth notes in a measure. One example of a double jig would be the swallowtail jig. And it's called a double jig because you have A, A, B, B. Each time gets played twice. All right, the next type of jig is called a slip jig. And it has a 9-8 feel. So the 9-8 means 9 eighth notes. The 6 eighth from the double jig means six eighth notes. And basically, it's telling you how many eighth notes there are in a measure, but also how many beats. So with the slip jig, it's like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm snapping the larger beats, so it's one and a, two and a, three and a. It's in three. A double jig is just one and a, two and a, one and a, two and a. So the swallowtail jig being the double jig. And then the slip jig would be the butterfly. You can hear that the beats change from feeling a large two and then a large three beats here. Okay, the last type of jig is the single jig, which many people say is the same as the slide. Other people say there are differences. We won't get into that because this is a hotly debated uh, subject on the internet. No controversy here, but 12-8. So 12 eighth notes in a measure, that adds an extra beat. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1 and a 2, 3 and a 4 and a. So 4 beats in a measure in 12, 8. Okay. The next type of tune is a reel. Now most of these tunes, the tempos are set by how fast the dancer wants to dance. But if it's just you, know that polkas and airs are pretty slow, not a dance tune. Polkas are pretty slow as well, not as slow as an air. The jigs can be very fast and the reels, I always say reels are really fast. Then you have your hornpipe, 
which some people think is the same thing as a real. What's the difference? They're both in 4-4 four, four time, so we've changed the beat from the eighth note to the quarter note, four quarter notes in a measure. It's one, two, three, four. But if you're listening to a bluegrass player play Irish music, they're going to play reels and hornpipes almost the same way. But traditional Irish players tend to take the reels a little bit faster and their notes are more even. They play the hornpipes with a more of a lilt to them, so like long, short, long, short, long. Um, but both tunes, they're very similar, the reels and the hornpipes. So there you have it, the main Irish tunes. The only one that is not a dance is the air. The rest of them have dance steps that go with them. And we have examples of all of these in our Drunken Fiddles course. All right, I'll see you in the next one.